Hello guys, I'm George. So today I've got five Japanese brand names that native English speakers often pronounce incorrectly. When I was in the US, I realized a lot of people pronounce Japanese brand names a little bit differently than we do in Japan. So sometimes I couldn't catch what they said despite the Japanese brand names that I'm familiar with. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how Japanese brand names are pronounced correctly in Japanese and give you a little background information on some of them as well. If you currently study Japanese and want to be like a native Japanese speaker, your Japanese teacher is here to make you more Japanese. -y. Leave it to me. So let's get started. The first one is Ghibli. I've heard Americans pronounce it like I said, Ghibli. But in Japan, we say Ghibli. Ghibli. And there is an interesting story as to where this name came from. The name of Ghibli is actually the nickname of Italian aircraft used during the Second World War, which is derived from Libyan word for hot wind blowing through the Sahara Desert. And the name Ghibli was chosen by Hayao Miyazaki, who is founder of Studio Ghibli. And the idea behind the name Studio Ghibli is that the studio is going to blow a new wind into the Japanese anime industry, which means he wanted to challenge something new or something big in the Japanese anime industry. Although Ghibli is pronounced with a hard G sound in Italian, Ghibli, but Miyazaki said it wrong and he said Ghibli, which became the official studio name. So Ghibli can be pronounced both Ghibli and Ghibli in English. Both pronunciations are correct according to the website. But once again, in Japan, we say Ghibli, Ghibli. We never say Ghibli, never in a million years. So let's pronounce it together as Japanese as possible. Ghibli, Ghibli. Very good. And then, of course, our legendary video game company, Nintendo. Most Americans that I know pronounce it like I said, Nintendo. Nintendo. But in Japan, we say, Nintendo. Nintendo. I know it's pretty much the same, but the accent is a little bit different. In this word, Nintendo in English, the accent is on the second syllable. But in Japanese, you put a little bit of the stress on the first one and say, Nintendo. Nintendo. Nintendo's origins can actually be traced all the way back to 1889, which is more than 130 years ago. Wow! When it was founded by Fusajiro Yamauchi as Yamauchi Nintendo in Kyoto, Japan. Mr. Yamauchi started off by producing handmade Hanafuda, which is a type of Japanese playing cards. And their card business was extremely successful, thanks to their largest customers, the Yakuza. They used Hanafuda in their casinos. But in 1963, Nintendo started branching out from card business and changed their name to Nintendo, which is current company's name, to reflect that. And what they did after branching out is a taxi service, food business, and love hotel business. And finally, in 1966, Nintendo decided to venture the toy and gaming business. And now Nintendo has become one of the biggest video game companies in the world. They are the pioneer that helped the video game market to grow and they are still making amazing and innovative products. I couldn't have enjoyed my childhood without Nintendo products, such as Mario, Donkey Kong, The Legend of Zelda, and Pokemon. Arigato, Nintendo! So repeat after me with your Japanese English. Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. Very good! <laughs> Alright, so next one is Mujiru Shiryohin or Muji. Muji is derived from the first part of Mujiru Shiryohin. And obviously this logo says Muji. But what's funny is that we never call it Muji. In Japan, we say Mujirushi. Mujirushi. I understand Muji is much easier to pronounce it, but if you say Muji to Japanese people, they will not understand what you're talking about. Mujirushi was originally founded in Japan in 1980. As you guys already know, they offer a wide variety of good quality items from stationery to household items. Mujirushi ryohin means that no brand, high quality goods. I personally love their simplicity. And of course, I got this blanket from Mujirushi. Mmm, comfy. So repeat after me. Mujirushi. 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 Very. Toyota. 
as you know, is the best known Japanese car brand in the world. But in Japanese, we pronounce it Toyota. Toyota. The company name Toyota comes from the original founder's last name, Kiichiro Toyoda. Now the question is, why the company's name is not Toyoda? Let me elaborate on that. When you write Toyoda in Japanese katakana, the word Toyoda takes 10 strokes to write. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Toyoda. And ten in Japanese kanji looks like this. It looks like crossroad, right? And crossroad implies that you're indecisive. So basically, Mr. Toyota said, I don't want my company to represent anything that's associated with indecision. So he got rid of these last two dots. And it became Toyota. And the word Toyota takes exactly eight strokes. And eight is considered a lucky number and represents prosperity in Japanese culture. For these reasons, Toyota was chosen as the company's name. So repeat after me. Toyota. 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 Very Japanesey. This is the one that made me confused the most because native English speakers pronounce it A6. But in Japan, we say Ashikusu. Ashikusu. A6 is derived from the Latin words anima sana in corpore sano, which translates as sound mind in a sound body. In 1949, Ashikusu was founded by Kihachiro Onitsuka in Kobe, Japan. He began to manufacture the basketball shoes and after that, he expanded his business to a variety of Olympic style shoes used throughout the 50s, 60s, 70s by athletes worldwide and it became so popular. In recent years, their running shoes have often been ranked among the top performance footwear in the market. And when it comes to how it's pronounced, once again, in Japan, we say ashikusu, ashikusu. In Japanese, A is pronounced as A sound, for example, Steve Aoki. In Japanese, we say Steve Aoki. Steve Aoki. Aoki is very common Japanese surname, by the way. And another example is anime. In Japanese, we say anime. Anime. Not anime, but anime. Okay, so repeat after me. Ashikusu. Ashikusu. Steve Aoki. Steve Aoki Anime Anime Are you Japanese? Alright guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And now George's merch is available. So if you're interested, click the link in the description down below and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye!